All right, now the second Ghidra project is really just following what's in the book. So that is uh, somehow gone again. Oh, here we are. There, Ghidra Data Displays is just showing you what all the panels are that you see in Ghidra. So let me um, make an empty code browser window. So I'm going to close this old Ghidra and not save anything, just like Ida. Keep closing until it's gone. All right, now open a new one. And <coughs> close this and file new project, I think. Um, can I open code browser window? Let's see. Tools, run tool, run tool, code browser. Okay, I can run code browser from here. There we go. All right, there's an empty code browser window that I haven't loaded any files into, just so you can see what they got. So up here you got a menu bar with like file edit and stuff. Then you got a toolbar with tool icon buttons. Then you got the program trees here for all the programs you might open mm -hmm. and the symbol tree. And here's data types manager with things like built-in types and Windows types. Here's where the listing goes. Here's the console that shows you what action is happening. And here's the decompiler window. So, you know, it's uh, just like Ida or um, Ollie. You just have to sort of get used to all these features. And that's what that book goes through, all the features and stuff. So now we can import a file with file, import file. And we're going to go for the second example, the Chapter 5 example that goes with the textbook that shows you this stuff. Okay. And so now it's, as usual, going to put a bunch of work into importing it. And I'll accept the default conditions. It's loading x86 LE32, so this is apparently also 32-bit executable. All right. Do I want to analyze it now? I say yes. The general inf I'll say analyze. Here's the box showing me general information. I just say OK to get rid of that. Now it's going to do this stuff in the bottom right corner again as it analyzes this file. Strangely, Windows is covering it with some kind of bar. If I hit the full screen, no, it makes it better. Okay, good. All right. So here again, we have an MZ header. And then the usual binary header there. And over here, we got the usual stuff. So there's a lot more to this one. Text, data, TLS, TIS maybe? TIS, R data, I data, E data. You know, lots more sections in this file. It's more complicated. And they're still chewing into it. Now, notice these little colored bars are appearing here. Uh, this is like the Ida Pro colored bar, but in Ghidra, it puts like eight different colors in the bar, and it gives you an index of them. So you can right-click here to see a directory of all the colors. Analysis, changes, errors, highlight, selection, and so on. So you can really do what you typically have to do with a disassembler here. You spend a lot of time going into it figuring out what a program is, what a function is, figuring out what a variable is, giving it names, putting in comments, putting in color coding, you know, all the usual stuff. That's why they always prompt you to save a database, because you could spend weeks analyzing a file in here and putting in all these instructive marks. Uh, here's some nonsense. Using PDB file, this one has no symbols, which we're used to. All right. And so if you read the book, there's just a whole series of more flags to find here. Uh, you find the name for this blue bar containing shades of blue. You'll eventually have three different colors of bar here with information. And there's a lot of other things here. Uh, go find what's happening in this function. Figure out how to make function graphs with lines connecting these boxes and such. You know, this is what you can do. And to do that, you have to go through the book. And here I just have some flags you can turn in as you find them by going through the book. So you learn all the features of Ghidra. <coughs> And there's a lot more to the book, but this is as far as I've written projects for it. If anybody feels like going further in Gaydra, I can give you extra credit for it. But um, in this class, we mostly cover Ida Pro, which is still the standard, although more and more people are excited about Gaydra. And I see uh, 
people are giving expert level classes about it at Black Hat and stuff. Um, it is considered very powerful and you can't beat the price. But the industry standard, I think, is still Ida Pro. All right. Well, I guess that's all I wanted to show you about that one.